Shalom, shalom, my hovering. Greetings, my YouTube misfit. What's up, what's up, my people? And welcome, friends, to Bible on a Bicycle Bible Review. Welcome or welcome back, whichever the case may be. My name is Will, and I'm an aspirant follower of Yeshua HaMashiach, that is, Jesus Christ. What is Bible in a Bicycle Bible Review? Well, this here is where we take a look at the Bibles that I found while out riding around on my bicycle in search of Bibles and other items that I can use in my outreach ministry here locally working with those experiencing poverty and or homelessness in my community. A big thanks to everyone who participated in the voting on the community tab. Appreciate the fellowship. Appreciate you casting a vote. The choices was between a Naves topical Bible and an NIV student Bible. And the winner is... Let's go get it! The NIV Student Bible, published by Zondervan Press, of course. And uh, I got this in a little copy of the Student Bible from Zondervan. I found it at the local Goodwill thrift store. That's an odd shop for some of you guys out there. And it just so happens here in my local area, most of the secondhand stores have Bibles on hand that they'll let you just take for free. So if you want a good resource, on where to obtain some Bibles that you might be able to pass out in your own ministry outreach. Check your thrift stores, your odd shops. As usual, I knew very little about the NIV student Bible before making this video, other than when I pulled it off the shelf. It's a nice bonded leather cover, which is always nice. It's one of the nicer Bibles I featured here, actually. Got the interior flaps or paste down. Nice craftsmanship on those corners. Zondergren usually does produce pretty decent Bibles. Has silver, silver gilding on the pages and on the font. And we all know I prefer silver over gold anytime. Silver, silver and gold. gold. But it's in really, really good condition. Couldn't pass it up. I know this is going to be making somebody very, very happy. As far as I've looked through and flipped through the Bible, I see no markings whatsoever. It's a pretty pristine condition. Even the present to page. I like that little curve on the road ahead. That's kind of cute. Right there, nice and thick. Contains the Old and New Testament. What does it say here? Notes by Philip Yancey and Tim Stafford. Hmm, we're gonna have to check out who those folks are. Anyway, I've already featured many uh, NIV, New International Version, and Bibles here on this channel before. Might want to go check those out in that playlist up there. But, in the community tab, the NIV was highly requested, and someone did mention something about the missing verses when you compare the King James Version to the NIV, etc. and so forth. So we're going to take a little closer look at that as well. But uh, like I said, as always going into these videos, I really know very little about this here particular student Bible. And that's why we're here for, to learn a little bit together. Let's delve into this NIV student Bible, find out more about the NIV translation, and then we'll take a look at the actual condition of this here particular Bible that we found at the local thrift store. Alrighty, without any further ado, let's get into it. The NIV Student Bible, that's New International Version. A leather bonded soft cover edition with 1,600 pages, published by Zondervan Press in 2023, with the dimensions of 9.25 by 6.25 by 1.75 inches. Weighs approximately 3 pounds. Text color, black letter. Text size, 9 point. Written and edited by award-winning authors, 
Philip Yancey and Tim Stafford. Philip Yancey previously served as an editor-at-large for Christianity Today magazine. He has written 13 gold medallion award-winning books and won two ECPA Book of the Year awards for What's So Amazing About Grace and The Jesus I Never Knew. Four of his books have sold over one million copies. Tim Stafford is an award-winning author of more than 30 books and co-author of the NIV Student Bible. He wrote many of the notes for the NIV Student Bible, especially in the Old Testament portions. His most recent books include David and David's Son, A Gift, The Story of My Life, and Those Who Seek, A Novel. The NIV Student Bible sits right in the middle of a fascinating mix of ease of use and contentious issues in the world of Bible translations. It's all about making the deep teachings of the Bible more understandable, especially for the younger crowd. But like any translation, it's got its pros and cons. The good stuff? Well, one thing that really stands out with the NIV Student Bible is all the extra stuff they've thrown in. You've got devotions to hit the mark, practical applications that make you think, and bonus resources that give you context you never knew you needed. It's like having a Bible buddy guiding you through the tough bits. For those craving more depth, the Bible's got your back with notes on doctrine and study that dive into the nitty gritty of what the Bible's all about. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned believer, these notes bring some serious insight to the table. And can we talk about organization? They've laid this thing out like a dream, with intros to each book, glossaries, reading plans, and subject guides that make finding your way around a breeze. Plus, they've thrown in modern perks, like word definitions, right there in the text, so you're not constantly flipping to the back of the book. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. One thing that might bug some folks is the lack of red letters for Yeshua, that is Jesus, words. It's a small thing, but for those used to seeing them, it's a noticeable absence. And then there's the title, NIV Student Bible. It kind of pigeonholes it as just for students, but with all the goodies inside, it's really a Bible for everyone. It's like they're selling themselves short by not shouting about how inclusive they are. And let's not forget the elephant in the room. The controversies around the NIV translation itself. The switch from the NIV 1984 to the NIV 2020 stirred up a whole hornet's nest, especially with the move towards gender inclusive language. Some folks reckon it messes with the Bible's message, especially on gender stuff. What's the verdict? Well, in the end, the NIV Student Bible is a solid choice for anyone looking to get into the Bible game. It's packed with helpful extras and easy-to-use features that make diving into Scripture a breeze. But hey, you can't ignore the debates around the broader NIV translation. It's like buying a car or a bicycle. You gotta weigh up the pros and cons and decide what's right for you. So while the NIV Student Bible has a lot going for it, it's worth taking a moment to think about where you stand on the whole gender inclusive language thing before you dive in. Another concern people have regarding the NIV is the question of what appears to be missing verses. All right, let's tackle the mystery of those missing verses in the NIV translation. Some folks get a bit antsy when you, they notice differences between the NIV and older translations like the KJV. But before we jump to conclusions, let's put on our detective hats 
and get to the bottom of this. Let's set the scene. First things first, let's clear the air about the KJV. It's a classic, no doubt, but it's not the original Bible. The original writers weren't scribbling away in 1611 English. The KJV is just one of the earliest translations from Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic manuscripts, same as the NIV. The Missing Pieces Now, about those missing verses. If you do a side-by-side -side with the KJV, yeah, you'll notice differences. At least 16 quote-unquote missing verses in the NIV. But here's the twist. The NIV didn't base its translation on the KJV. Nope. It went straight to the source. Ancient Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic manuscripts. So why the discrepancies? It all comes down to the manuscripts used. The KJV relied on the Textus Receptus, a top-notch resource back in the 1600s. But by the time the NIV rolled around, new manuscripts had come to light, dating even earlier than the Texas Receptus. Most scholars reckon these newer manuscripts are more reliable, so they formed the backbone of the NIV translation. The plot thickens. Now, before you cry foul, here's the kicker. The NIV translators weren't hiding anything. When a verse didn't match up, they slapped on a footnote pointing out the differences. It's all about transparency. No sneaky business here. Take Acts 8, 36 and 37, for example. In the NIV, verse 37 is MIA. But there's a handy little footnote explaining what's up. So, were verses missing from translations before the NIV? Short answer, yup. The KJV wasn't the first rodeo. There were translations floating around long before it came on the scene. And guess what? They had their own share of discrepancies. Translation's a tricky business. But with over 99% of the biblical text in agreement across different manuscripts, we're still sitting pretty. So, should you be losing sleep over these missing verses in the NIV? Not a chance. Here's why. The NIV is based on solid manuscripts, so you can trust it on that level. Any differences are flagged with footnotes. No secrets. And most importantly, none of these missing verses mess with the core doctrines of the faith. We're talking rock solid stuff. So whether you're a diehard KJV fan or a newbie to the NIV scene, rest easy knowing that the Bible you've got in your hands is a real deal. And as Timothy wisely put it, all scriptures got the stamp of approval for teaching, guiding, and setting us straight, no matter the translation. Case closed. Personally, I use the NIV for casual reading and doing my outreach ministry to those new to the scriptures. And then, for more serious study, I'll turn to NASB or a Naves Topical in conjunction with a good concordance. That's about all I could find out about the NIV Student Bible. Back to you, Will. Wow. Whoa, 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 there you have it. The Student Bible, New International Version, by Zondervan Press. Well, oh, no, pretty decent sound of Bible. I really appreciate these uh, notes, side notes, of the resources that's offered in it. And, of course, I'm loving in that. Ha-ha, <laughs> yeah. So, what a bonus. You know how I feel about the maps, folks. You know how I feel about the maps. Let's have a little closer look at this here particular student bible that i found at my local thrift store like i said it's in pretty pristine condition comes with that bonded leather cover and that silver embossed lettering along the spine 
And of course, matchy silver gilding along the pages, which is really one of my favorites. I always prefer silver over gold, just my personal taste, folks. We got a matching maroon tone bookmark ribbon. And if you can look closely up in there, look in there, little red and yellow headbands. I think I personally probably went with a different color on there, but uh, nice, good condition, fully intact. As I said, as I looked through this here particular copy, I didn't see any markings or big creases in the pages, no rips or tears. It's in really, really good condition. Pretty standard font. Quality of the paper itself, again, pretty standard. We did a little ghosting test here. I know, don't get all upset with me. A little ghosting test here is only marking the page. We did that there to see how the bleed through was. Ghosting itself, uh, not too awful bad as you can probably see there. Pretty average, bleed through. Mm -hmm. You would think as a student Bible, they'd have went with a little bit more uh, dense of a paper so that you could, you know, take notes, highlight places. But uh, all in all, it's pretty, pretty decent, pretty standard for your most modern Bibles. But I was really impressed by the condition. I was really, really impressed. It's always a great blessing when I come across copies of the Bible that are in really good condition. I've always been a big fan of the NIV as far as the uh, introductory Bible. It's a great translation to use for outreach because it's got such simple and direct language. So I always prefer either the NIV or an ESV when it comes to outreach. And it's always a great score to find such a nice quality Bible in such good condition. It's a little sad because it hasn't been used. That's always sad to see with the Bible. But it's a blessing that the person who owned this Bible, for whatever the reasons may be, chose to at least donate it instead of just pitching it into the trash. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So yeah, there you have it. The NIV Student Bible, published by Zondervan Press. And this is the part where I say, thank you for joining me here, my friends. I appreciate it. I know these little Bible review videos aren't always the most popular videos. They might not get the most views, but I always enjoy making them. It's kind of the foundational videos of how this channel got started. So I'll continue to do it. I'll continue to go out find these Bibles, rescue them, get them out to people, put them in people's hands. And as I do that, I'll continue to share it with you. So thank you. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Every one of you that's watching this right now, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, you got anything out of it whatsoever, you know the routine. Hit that little subscribe button down there. Give us a little thumbs up, a little love. If you know anybody in your friends or family circle that you think might enjoy this here little video, hit that share button. Part of the Rumble crowd, you know what to do. Give us a follow, give us a like, or give us a share. If you'd like to further support this channel or the outreach ministry that we do here, luckily with those experiencing poverty and or homelessness, there's a whole bunch of links down below where you can do just that through a one-time donation through PayPal, support us over at the Ko-Fi, become a channel member here now. Once again, grab up some more swag merch from these various links down below. And if you're currently not in a position to financially support this channel, don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're here. I know your time is valuable, and I surely do appreciate you spending it here with me. Hope to see you here next time, and until next time, remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you. So do I. Now get off of here. Go ride your bike and read your Bibles. <laughs>